What is up YouTube? That's here bringing you another amazing set of games featuring one of my favorite new Pokemon Eldegoss. You can see the team that it's based in is very similar to my Galar Beginnings team. It's very similar to the Stall Wars team that I've used in recent videos, but we're actually using an Eldegoss today over the Ferrothorn because I feel that Eldegoss is the evolution of what a grass type should be in the singles meta. For those of you wondering why am I using Eldegoss over a Ferrothorn or maybe over a Whimsicott because I'm running a similar set to a Whimsicott. I'm going to talk about it. Uh, Ferrothorn, great leech seeder, great substitute user, great defensive typing in that steel grass. But what it doesn't bring to the table is it does not bring sleep powder, does not bring direct uh, restoration moves. It also has that big four times weakness to fire. And while it does have, uh, while Ferrothorn does have high HP and high special D, it just gets melted by fire attacks. Eldegoss, on the other hand, using this amazing EV spread of just full HP special D, super simple, right? Is able to just tank attacks from huge, like, choice specs boosted fire attacks from even the strongest special attackers. This Pokemon actually being a solo grass type is actually way better because, yeah, it can just eat grass attacks. Yeah, it can just eat fighting attacks. It doesn't have to worry about getting melted by huge, super effective special attacks. Even, like, blizzards and ice beams and stuff. This Pokemon eats those like an absolute champion. So while it's forfeiting like the Iron Barb's ability, it also gets a better ability in Regenerator. Remember, it stores 33% uh, of your HP every single time you switch it in. Remember, the other Pokemon in our team is Toxapex. So both these Pokemon have Regenerator, so we have like a double Regenerator core. But when we get into those really, really long games where our opponent's trying to like PP stall us out, we can just switch between Eldegoss and Toxapex every single turn. They have to use PP, we don't. And unless they're doing more than 33% to each of us, remember, both of these Pokemon Pokemon have recovery items as well, um, you know, they're not going to be able to ever break us, and we're effectively going to be able to go infinite if we want to. So Eldegoss, really, really good. I really like it over Ferrothorn. You may be wondering, why am I running this set if I'm running a Subseeder over Whimsicott? Well, I feel I just answered that question. Sure, Whimsicott gets Leech Seed, it gets Substitute, but again, it doesn't get the Sleep Powder, it does not get the Regenerator. So I feel that Eldegoss is really, really good in the game. And in the game I'm going to show it off today, it's really, really good bait if your opponent has a Ferrothorn. A lot of people see the Eldegoss because it's at the very top of the team and they're like, Eldegoss, I know that that Eldegoss cannot hit my Ferrothorn. I will bring Ferrothorn to fight that. If I know you're bringing Ferrothorn, I'm probably going to be bringing my Rotom Heat, my Dragapult, which has that huge fire attack. Hippowdon has a decent match against Ferrothorn. Haxorus has a decent match against Ferrothorn. It's really good bait for your uh, opponent's Ferrothorn having an Eldegoss in your team. So what do you guys think about Eldegoss the Amazing in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield? I almost said Ultra Sun and Sun and Moon. What do you guys think about Eldegoss in Sword and Shield? Leave a comment below and let me know. And while you guys are down there, let me know if you want to see a pacement of this team. I've tweaked a lot of these EV spreads since showing them off uh, in like past videos. So let me know if you guys want to see this team in a, you know, like a video featuring it all by its lonesome. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the game. It's a super long one. Out on Haxorus. Yo, are we gossing this man? I'll do it. I will goss him. I'll do it. Y'all think I won't? You think I won't do it? I could also just go drag a pole. I can do it. I'll goss him. Let's goss, boys. Let's try it. Let's see if this Pokemon actually works. Eldegoss is an enigma. But if it works, it's really cool. It's your Rotom build. It's very bulky. Very, very bulky. Goss Boss. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's the lead we thought he was going to lead with. So the plan here is we're going to trade Haxorus for Darmanitan. Right. That's been the idea the whole time. And we're doing this so we don't get flinched by the, uh... We're doing this so we don't get flinched. But we are sashed. We don't get... We don't want to get flinched by Icicle Crash. And it sucks we're wasting our item max. It sucks our Haxor's gonna be at one. He's gonna be able to send his Mimikyu. But I think through the combination of Eldegoss and through the combination of Hippowdon, specifically the Hippowdon, we should be able to grind out the Mimikyu. I think Hippowdon can just grind out Mimikyu. Icicle Crash. That could have missed. Oh, we didn't even clock the sash. I'll take that. Really want to see Goss in action? Yo, is that a $10 donation from Apple Acid? Wow, thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. 
I really love to see that. Thank you so, so, so much. Hopefully, you're having a good day. That that donation really does help me get my mood up, so appreciate it. Just started using a Paladin. What's the best move set? Uh, I like Earthquake, Stealth Rocks, Slack Off, and Rock Tomb. Certain teams you can get away with cutting off Rock Tomb, but uh, if you want Hip Paladin to do more of a carry roll, you kind of need it just for coverage. Probably going to be Mimikyu, right? Paladin. All right. Um, I might as well just stay in then. Yo, cool ass Alex coming in Twitch Prime. Yo, first sub we got in a hot minute, guys. Put some subs up for cool ass Alex. Thank you so much for the for the subscriber Reno. You love to see it. I really really appreciate it. And I hope you're having a wonderful night. It's better idea just to max warm one here, I think. But I appreciate it. Both the ten dollar nation from Apple Acid and the subscriber Twitch Prime. You can use that Twitch Prime anywhere. So deciding to use it on me and my channel really does mean a lot. It's not that much damage at all. Uh, Eldegoss is gonna be great for to hit Powdon, I feel. I feel it's definitely usable. Yep. Did you win the last game? I did. I did win the last game. The only issue with like a Powdon is I don't know. We'll see. So we're gonna sleep powder it. What EV spread do you recommend on an Adamant Lucario? Full attack speed. I wonder if I wanna go for sleep powder right now. Or if I wanna go for leech seed first. I think I want the leech seed first. And then once he gets like low, once he's gonna think about slack offing. We will then use the Sleep Powder. Eldegoss, boys. Eldegoss. Main reason we switched here, uh, main reason we did that is because I didn't want him setting up a Stealth Rock in my face. Because if I would have switched out my Haxorus to Eldegoss and he set Stealth Rocks, Haxorus would be dead if I came back in with it. So it's better just to go for like big damage while we could. Leech Seed has to hit. Perfect. It's a lot better to hit your Leech Seeds first. This is the new Toxapex. Sorry, this is the new, uh, there's a Slack off right there. That's a, that's a good play, I think, actually. It's a good play. I would have done that right there too. But yeah, you're supposed to hit your uh, Leech Seeds before your uh, Sleep Powders. Because now you're afforded the luxury of dealing the damage while they're asleep. So like, what we're going to do is we're going to set this up, get the Leech Seeds up. Then we're going to go for Sleep Powder now. And if he wants to switch out of the Leech Seed Bowl, then he's switching on a Sleep Powder. It's actually like, super value. Oh, I should have PP Max that Synthesis. Actually, does this Pokemon get Recover? Am I an idiot? That might actually come back to bite me. I don't think it's recovered. Anyways, we're sleep powdering. Yo, exquisite underscore Twitch TV coming in Twitch. Yo, subscribing at tier one. Love seeing the sub. Thank you so much, guys. Subs up uh, for exquisite underscore TTV. Are you a streamer? Is that, why, is that why you have TTV in your name? If you are, I'll definitely check out your sub. Yo. Yo, thank How's it going, my friend? Love your content. Thank you so much. Does not. All right, cool. Then I made the right choice going with synthesis. I should PP max that though. But guys, put some subs up. Thank you. Welcome to the Plus Plus. Hopefully you're having an absolutely amazing night. I know I am. And so now, if we ever go into the Hippodon battle, we're always going to be able to win because we have a Leech Seed. And he's already used one Earthquake. So unless he's PP max, we'll always have an Earthquake advantage. The only issue is we don't really have a ton of damage potential. Hippodon Wars. It looks like I didn't. No, I don't. We. I think he has a uh, rocky helmet. All right, uh, dude. We're fresh out. Actually, we're fresh out. Yeah, uh, I hear Cuba Gooding Jr. has a, a good storage of that, though. I hear. I hear Cuba Gooding Jr. has a good amount in his backlog. Not to throw shade at Cuba Gooding Jr. I don't know if any of you guys have heard about his recent endeavors. Alright, so he's, that's a three turn sleep. Alright, so the only thing that sucks here is, like I said, I can't really get rid of this thing. You stream for a little, but never really pursued it. Gotta change my username. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Please just let me, like, crit this thing out. Alright, looks like I am out speeding, which is quite important. He's gonna wake up this turn, I think. And it's probably Slack Off. Is that a pinch berry? Alright, we had to get that away, anyways. He just needed a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Biggie Berry, wake up, slack off, right? Yeah. All right, so the issue here is, like, I cannot beat this Pokemon with my, either of my Mons. Uh, we're going to have to PP out his slack offs, which is totally possible. Uh, that's two, guys. That's two slack offs we see from him. I'm going to go for a Rocks here. He can't do anything to me either. I just have to play this very patiently. So we're going to set Rocks to... Uh, force him to not like switch around let's see if he rocks me back there's a yawn i mean i'm just gonna i'm just gonna switch all day i think 
Yeah, I really wish I had PP maxes on my on all my moves. Because I would love to go into this late game. But I don't have PP max on any of my stuff. I might have to... Wait, actually, I can't Dynamax. I already have. I'm just going to switch to Eldegoss. We, are, we have a Leech Seed up. So that's why, we, that's why we win this match is we have a Leech Seed already. Or we'll, we're going to force him to switch, right? That's how this works. Yeah, he's withdrawing, but I already have, I got a Salt Rock up. So, like, you see how, like, this this works for us? I don't know what Pokemon he has in the back, though. It's Hydreigon. All right. Okay. He's probably going to Dynamax this. What is my EV spread? It should be full HP Special D. And if it is, that's great. Yes. I think I'm going to set the Leech Seed. And then I'm going to switch. So, I'm going to soak a ton of damage from this Flamethrower and then switch to my Hippowdon. He's going to Dynamax, I think, though. Fire Blast! That can miss, Chief! Oh, that can miss, Chief! He has to be Specs then, right? I'll take that, though. We take those. Leech Seed's up. And I'm just going to try and Sleep Powder. We should be able to eat this, like, absolute champ. Like, he's like, I should do extra damage! He's, he's just like, I don't want to miss anymore! And I'm like, I 100% agree. You should have done that last turn. But you can't use your Choice Specs... If you're, uh, like, you can tell he's real, he's, you can tell he's choice specs. And then he didn't want to have to do this. He might, he might be like, it's hard to say. I don't think this KOs. I really don't think it even comes close. But we'll see. I could be super wrong. Yep. That's awesome. And I'd love to get a sleep powder here. If I get a sleep powder here, that's GG. GG, 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 GG. G G G G G G. Goss is an absolute tank, and you know what? What a nice man setting the sun for us so he can use synthesis. What a nice, upstanding gentleman we have here. You love to see it. Um, I don't know if I want to sub right now. Magic about weakness policy? No. I'd rather not. I'm going to sub just in case he switches to hip out on. He's not going to switch, but like I'd rather get this up right now. We'll get this all this health. And then next turn, oh, he'll be able to clock. He'll, he'll, he might wake up, right? He could totally wake up. Be choice, he'll be struggling soon. Yes. Well, I mean, he won't because he's he hasn't been making any damaging moves this synthesis is gonna be full heal full heal woke up yep one turn sleep but we got full heals uh we're gonna be switching it out on next turn because we want him to we want to reset the sand because we don't want to eat a max flare in the sun we will probably die right i'll get my full heal off and i'll just switch and then all we got to do is save our pp and two Pokemon to be able to deal with his Hippowdon. Look at that damage. Playing the nice slow game. Boss Goss. Hippowdon should be able to switch in on a Fire Blast quite easily. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I can't have him just be having the Sun Boosted Fire Blasted. I can't. I can't have that. Goss is like full HP specialty. Hippowdon has like no specialty, but it's a Hippowdon. You know. I will see how much damage. Like, I might. If, let's see how much damage. Let's see if he's scarfed. Or specs or whatever, you know. He missed again. I'll take that. Win. Wins, wins, wins. Oh, yeah. I'll be taking those. Look at that. Yes, yes. I'm going to rock too. He might switch. But, like, all I got to do is switch back to my Goss. Because, like, Regenerator is the reason why we can kind of play the long game for even forever. Like, Regenerator is one of the best abilities in the game. Best abilities ever. He's used one Yawn, two to three Slack Offs, and one Earthquake. As far as I can tell, he cannot hit my Eldegoss with that Hippowdon. With anything more than an Earthquake. Switch to Eldegoss. I want to see if he'll double switch back into the Hydreigon. He might just go for a Yawn. Slack off, that's fine. Just going to set my Leech Seed. Does, 
Does Yon go through sub? I'm just curious. Does Yon go through sub? Yeah, it's a leech. I want a leech seed. Still gotta watch out for the Hydreigon, though. No. It's a sound based move, isn't it? Not if subs up. So, what happens if he yawns and then I sub next turn? Will I get put to sleep? It's a good question. I don't think it's actually a sound move. It should be. Leech seed up. Love to see it. Play the long game. There's the yawn. I'm just gonna switch. I need to see how much time is on each player's clock as well. That is an actual important part of this game. Because we've seen sub... Sorry, we've seen EQ and yawn. You'll see if you got yawn before making your sub, okay? Alright, I, I have a decent amount of time on this guy. What, 10 second lead? We'll see. And he's taking a long time this turn, so that's good. He might switch to Hydreigon this turn. I just wish I had PP maxes, guys. This would be... I'd be... I, all my anxiety would be gone if I had PP maxes. Because I could just be like, he cannot play the game for like 10 more turns. You know? Versus like, he might be able to. He's going for a double yawn. Yeah, so he only has a certain number of those, and I gain absolutely nothing by switching forever and ever and ever and ever again. Sandstorm subsides. It's really good. We want to be able to save this. And see, like, he's taking damage. You understand that, like, this is why uh, he can't really do this for Ava. And you only get a certain amount of yawns, so. Like, he has no way, real way other than that Hydreigon to come in. And if it's choiced, there's no move that hits both the Eldegoss and the Hyd on the Hen Powdon for enough damage. But Goss, coming in here. I kind of wish I put Giga Drain on it over the Synthesis, but the Synthesis is really good in specific matchups. Because sometimes you need that big HP restore. He's withdrawn. All right. Let me think about if I want my Leech Seed here. Because I think like a Crit Fire Blast would do quite a bit of damage right now. I'm going to try Leech Seed. Is Grass alone a favorite defensive typing? A favorable, yes. Very favorable. Fire Blast, you specs, bro? He is specs! It's big specs damage. But I think we just got him. Because we're just going to switch and get that regenerator proc. And then we're going to switch in Hippowdon. It's going to get a Leech Seed proc here. And we're going to get a proc of uh, Sandstorm. Imagine how ballsy it would be to just go for a Sleep Powder knowing he's switching to Hippowdon. That'd be so raw. It really would. All right. But yeah, I don't think we've really shown that we're a generator yet. So that's why he's playing around this. He's not switching, right? He just loses then. I think he thought he could live for one more turn. But he cannot. But yeah, the, we should be able to kill with Leech Seed plus Sandstorm to him. Fire Blast. If he burns here, that's really lame. Ow! Ow! We got him, though. Ladies and gentlemen! We got him. You'll love to see it. Alright, what do I want to do in this situation? I think I might go for one slack off. We'll see. I mean, I, let's see how much damage he's actually at. If he's at like 50%, I might just try and push the advantage. No, he's not. I'll go for a slack off. Because I know I can get it. I want to see if he has, like, a big move that can one-shot my Goss. Because, like, we haven't seen, like, a Stone Edge or anything come out from this guy yet. So I'd like to, I'd like to wait until the Sandstorm's over to bring my Goss out. If I could. That Fire Blast was big damage, huh? Alright, perfect. EQ? Love it. Nice EQ, bro. And you see the regenerator? We're so healthy now. So healthy. He's 
gonna go EQ again or Yawn? Perfect, look at this. I care not for your damage. I'm just gonna switch back. And then we're gonna get even more regenerator procs. What do you think is better? Specs Dragapult or Specs Hydreigon? Um, I think that Specs Hydreigon's better. Specs Hydreigon's more like a wall breaker because it has really, really good coverage with like Earth Power and Stabbed Dark Attacks. So it's like third or fourth Earthquake. Once he's out of Earthquakes, he cannot win. There's a slack off. It's fine. We're just doing this to get our Eldos at full. Once we get Eldos at full instead of Weech Seed, we're going to win. There. We're at enough health now. You playing on a pad? I'm playing on... Yeah, I'm playing on Fight Stick. Not a pad. Fight Stick. Let's see if he uses a Yawn here. EQ. Perfect. Use those all day. Because they soak that damage. Alright, Sandstorm's over. I think I'm gonna sub here to block the... I think I will sub to block the... Yawn. I think he's gonna Yawn this turn. I have like a minute on him too. So I just, gotta, I just gotta chill. I don't have to rush anything. I don't think he can realistically break this within two or three Earthquakes. There's an Earthquake. Let's see if it breaks it. That doesn't even break it. Busted! Yeah, Where did my Sound Vortex control work? I think Mo's control has worked. Thank you for the follow. Mufaletta93. Thank you so much for the follow. Hopefully you're having a great day. What if I stick me in Pokken? I use I use the fight stick on certain characters. Like I use the fight stick when I play uh zoners like Chandelure. And I use the fight stick for Sceptile a little bit too. Please just let me hit this. Perfect. That should be the game right there. We should be able to just PP him out because we can just switch back and forth forever and he'll use PP and we can technically play the game without ever using any PP. The correct play is to put another sub here in case he has some sort of weird dot. Like if he were to like rock to me here, right? You know, I went for like a synthesis, he'd then out start outspeeding me and then like things to get a little bit out of control. So it's technically just... Is, is Eldegoss considered better? Why is this Eldegoss considered better than a similar set of Whimscott? Good question. Eldegoss is so much bulkier it has better defensive typing than Fairy Grass, and Eldegoss gets Sleep Powder, and Eldegoss gets a Regenerator. Yeah, things are going okay. We're gonna we win. It's just gonna take a little while. Like this this guy doesn't want to scoop, but we do win the game. We we might have to PP him out, but like we do we do win. Yeah, 120 special defense. Bust. We ate that Specs Fire Blast like it was a joke. And remember, this team originally had a Ferrothorn in it. But Eldegoss is like, fire attacks? You need a little bit more than that. Nice to see Eldegoss win. Yeah. Nice to see it. You love to see it. I want to see him go for... I want to see if he actually goes for, like... Because, like, if he had sub... I mean, I'm sure he would have used it by now, like, a million times. But, like... We'll see. I think I'm actually going to put a Sleep Powder up here. Because I think he's... Next turn, he would want to start using Slack Off. So, we're going to start Sleep Powdering here. And I'm going to switch to my Powder and start going for the big EQs. Sleep powder. Oh, I'll take those. He's yawn, slack off EQ, and I don't think it's rocks. I don't know what his last move is, and that's why, like, the game isn't over yet, because I don't know what his last move is. Like, what do you guys think it is? I don't think it's a rock move. I don't think it's rock tomb. I think there would have been situations where rock tomb would have been good. It's probably Whirlwind or something. It's probably Whirlwind. Or like Stealth Rock. But I think he would have set rocks like a while ago. Oh, one turn sleep. Never lucky. Never lucky one turn sleep. We're going to have to PP out all of his slack offs. That's pretty much how this one's going to go down. What if it's Fisher? Bruh! He would have used it already. 
I'm pretty sure he would have used it by now. But he can't win. We will actually be able to PP him out. Fisher would be a problem. <laughs> But, like, the only, my only issue is, like, what if it's a move that has, like, an incredible amount of PP? I think that's probably, like, his fifth slack off used. So, assuming he has BB Max used, he only has, like, 11 more. And he's taken a long time with his turns. So, we should be able to get this win. It's just going to take a really long time. We could totally be Fisher. Growl? Well, can we not? Now let's see what he's going to use. Something weird here. Earthquake? Yeah, Earthquake's fine. Yeah, he, he would use Fisher in this situation, you know? But, like, we have a Leech Seed going. Leech Seed isn't just, like, a damage-dealing move, right? Leech Seed is uh, a restoration move. We're afforded the luxury here. And I'm just going to use all my PP on Rock, too. And then I'll start using PP on... Uh, I'm using, I'm speeding up the use of his slack offs by doing this. And then once he's out of slack offs, then I'll just win with the Earthquake. So it's, this is technically the fastest way to do this. Be max tackle win for the long one. Oh my gosh. He'll he'll actually run out of time before that. He has 0% chance to win. Why is he just wasting time to surrender? Yo, never give up. Never surrender. What if I get hit by lightning right now? What if I just get struck by lightning right now? If I get a crit here, that's cool. It forced two slack offs if I got a crit in this one turn. So I'll go for one earthquake here. And he's using a long time on his turns. There are players that, like, I'm going to waste the time of someone that outplayed me because I hate losing. Yeah, what if... Well, I mean, if he DCs, I still get points. Yeah, I'm curious about his held item. Oh, we already saw it. It's a figgy berry. Or otherwise, he would have lost it earlier. Yeah, if I, if I would have crit there, he would have had to use two of these to stop me from critting out a third time. But, like, you can see he used a slack off there. He pretty much just traded a slack off for uh, two ticks of leech seed and, a, like, an earthquake. Extreme value for me. He's baking a merit, messing up. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I mean, we have a lot of stealth rocks. He also could be like max PP stealth rock, you know. But once I get him into a situation where all he has is left is stealth rocks, then we can just start using EQ and rock tombs and, you know, what have you. The thing is, I don't understand why he's taking so long with his moves. Because, like, he could almost have won this one. Um, because we have to select moves at the same speed. And since my strategy involves more of switching, uh, you know, my move should be taking longer than his, but he's taking longer than me. He really has to think about it. There's a yawn, all right. The correct play in this situation is to go to sleep. Did you know that? Did you know? In this situation of the Hippowdon battle, the correct pl the, the correct play is to go to sleep. Because we want him to waste all his earthquakes. But yeah, we have like a two and a half. We almost have a three minute lead on this guy. I want to see if he subs here. Slack off, that's fine. He wants me to D Yo, he definitely wants me to DC. I will not. I'm in for the long game. I wouldn't be playing Hippowdon Eldegoss if I wasn't in for the long game, guys. This guy thought he had it so free. Remember, this is the guy that led with, like, Darman Choice Scarfed Darmanitan, guys. He led with Choice Scarfed Darmanitan, and he was, like, herp derping it. And we still haven't seen his last move, so it could be something weird. Like, I don't know if he's fucking, like, Dream Eater? What do you got? Like, EQ? You're, you're just mitigated. You're mitigated by my Leech Seed. Eventually, I'm gonna wake up, too. Motion is a three turn sleep. Like, I'm using his sleep against him to give me more PP in the PP war. Nice EQ, bro. It's cool. We just talk about whatever. Just gotta use our. Just gotta lock in our moves relatively fast. I wonder how many earthquakes he's used. He's probably thinking, oh my gosh, I haven't even got a crit. It's so, I'm so unlucky. You're right, he is unlucky. He's unlucky having to go up against someone as good as me.
A glass of water. How's it going? Water sounds pretty good right now, actually. It does. I woke up. Awesome. Damn, I thought that was that person. I thought that was that person. I thought that was that person, like, when I saw the one, two, three. But I, I see... Now we're gonna happen. Another thing's gonna happen where I think everyone's that person, and that's what ruins streaming for, for everybody. That's what that's how streaming gets ruined for everybody. I'll use EQ once this turn because again, if I crit here, uh, forces two slack offs instead of just one. How do you prefer by Gengar? I like Sash Gengar. He might even just slack off again. Because he's still not that healthy. Because it's going to be a Leech Seed Tick involved. So I'd love to see a double slack off here. He said nothing. You missed it. No, please time them up immediately. Is this the person that we're fighting against? What does this say? Google Translate. What is that? What is Nameless Dio? What does that say? Yeah, what was the Japanese text? Hate to see hippo on hippo violence. Yeah, but nameless style. What is what is those Japanese characters? He lost moves Rock Tomb. It might be. I think there were situations where Rock Tomb would have been good for him though. Whatever. We'll just win by time. rare for foreigners to rank i i feel that there's not that many uh foreigners that are usually on at this time like they're not wrong it's it's there's not that many uh foreigners that are like online right now perfect thanks guys Because this is the hard time to play. Japanese players are all really good. My single, I'm not. Funny coincidence, the license plate next to my color living work was hippos. That's hilarious. Literally said hippos. <laughs> okay. Whatever floats their boat. All right. He's, he's probably... Hippos are S tier in the African server. I mean, hippos are just like S... Hippowdon's just busted, guys. We're gonna win this one by time. He's taking way too long. There is a possibility here, because we haven't seen his last move. There is a possibility that his last move is Fisher, and he's gonna, like, bust it out. Very, like weird like i don't know i'm gonna try and get a crit with this eq i think is it worth it no i was forced to slack off is he going so different vgc it is yes it is they're di but i think you should know both i think i think most players should have a good understanding of both of them dude i wish i had sub on this hippowed on Singles last 60 turns, doubles last 18 to 14. 8 to 14? Dude, doubles last two turns. Two turns! I've won sets in VGC, like tournament sets, best of three sets in four turns. Four. The whole set is over. Four turns. Oh, why do you think that you should know both? Um. 
Well, I just think that like both formats uh, showcase like different ways to play each Pokemon. So believe it or not, like a lot of the players that are the best players at VGC were originally singles players. Um, and so they're influenced by specific like tendencies that single sets have and vice versa. So I think if you want to like actually learn more about the game, this is a good way to do it. Obviously, this game is not a good example. But like the situation that set up for me to know that this would not be my win con about 20 minutes ago, that was a skill that was worth have would be worth having in VGC because it's just board state. It gives you a good different it, it will give you a different insight into board state. I think he's gonna use Slack off this turn, which is awesome. Does Asuma use rocks? Did he use rocks? Yeah, he did. He did use rocks. Alright. He should have set rocks way earlier. I was doing a lot of switching. Alright, now they know it's stealth rock. It's fine. We win. We've moved on into phase three of the end game. Use one of these here. And not to say one's easier or harder than others, they just create they just promote different skill sets. Like this game is not like a who can stall who. It's a I decided that I would win with this as my win condition about 20 minutes ago. Right? I managed the board well enough to see the situation in which this was my win condition. Rocks was the last move, perfect. Let's use some stealth rocks, guys. Let's it, let's go into the stealth rocks. You can't blame this guy for trying to make it so I like get struck by lightning. Or like leftovers can fail fall of berry trees? Yeah, they can. Because Greedens are up there. I think this guy had a shot to win. I only had like a 15 second timer lead, and now I have like five minutes, you know? So he thought a little bit too much. He believed, yeah. He's pro what he's probably realistically doing is doing that thing. I'm pretty sure everyone's done this at some point in their life where they, they're losing a game and they're like, I'm just going to make this guy stay forever because I'm so salty, right? And they try and justify it somehow, you know? Why is rank this and not that? I have no clue. Yeah, when I was like nine, yeah. Who knows? That could be like nine. This could be the game that he needs to like rank into Master Ball tier or something, you know? This guy used a. This guy's using wall. No, this guy's team is wall breakers. He's. This is his only wall, is this Pokemon. He has like freaking Dragapult, Darmanitan, this. His team was hella serious. Like, show you his team. His team was hella aggressive. Yeah, it was Specs Darmanitan, Scarf... Sorry, it was Specs Hydreigon, Scarf Darmanitan, probably Sash, Excadrill, Life Orb, Mimikyu, Berry, Hippowdon, and we'll see the... We'll see the Dragapult if he wants to show it to us. He's probably going to DC at the last second, too. Thinking that'll get him something. He's like, I wasted so much of his time. I'm so good. That's probably what he's going to do. I'll still get the points. It just doesn't happen immediately. Or like, if I crit, he'll feel like I robbed him of his victory. Yo, give me a crit. If I crit here, I KO this guy. And he's not, he's not able to wall me. He's not able to time me if I crit him. See? Through all of this, I found the situation in which I can win. His time is up. He only has like six seconds. Dang it! All right, I got put to sleep. You hate to see it. He's probably going to slack off. Oh, well. Finish him. I tried. I didn't know if he had any more slack offs yet, but it's fine. I, like, double full health Pokemon him. All right. He has three seconds. Wall. Lamau. Is he going to take his full three seconds?
It's also possible he wants to know what happens at the end. Alright. Time has run out! We win! I defeated him. Defeated. Deleted. We take those wins. Master of the long game. Boss Goss.